saw. Yep. Watch the system know it may cause some of that, but overall, we should be okay. But now, I see I see drinks on yes. the table. What do yes. we got going on? We have some drinks on the table, and that's because we're going to do a little taste testing. I want to see if you guys can taste the difference between two types of the same cocktail. So, 2022 was a big year for a lot of reasons, but for cocktails, it was the year of the espresso martini. Have you guys ever heard of that before? I have. Uh, to be honest, no. There we go. Perfect, Devin. <laughs> this drink was voted the most popular cocktail in the United States. To make the classic, you first brew your espresso shot, and you mix that with some coffee liqueur, vodka, and simple syrup, and then you mix it all together until it's nice and smooth. The resulting martinis are well-balanced with notes of caramel and vanilla. The liquor and syrup give them a subtle sweetness, and the vodka adds a smooth element, and the espresso brings an earthy bitterness and a little bit of caffeine, of course. It's an <laughs> elegant sprinkle of flaky sea salt finishes, and the drink is off and running. The espresso is a delight, and you can make sure to chill the glasses before serving, and you can enjoy it right away. So, we have two different espressos prepared here for us today. I'm yes. kind of scared. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, you should uh, be. No. I should One be scared. One of these is store-made mm -hmm. and pre-packaged, pre and the other uh, was made by me uh, with the ingredients that, you know, we just listed above and kind of mm -hmm. like how you should do it. I don't see sea salt. No sea salt. Uh, Michael. It's, you know, unnecessary. It's not, it's not on every recipe. Of so course you can make so is, is this a flag for unnecessary roughness? <laughs> no, you're going to tell me exactly which one you think tastes better, yeah. and we're not going to tell you which one it is. And, you know, we're all going to, you know, kind of taste this. And I kind of have a bias here. Yes? Homemade's a lot better than store-bought. Do you know which one's store-bought? Which no. one's homemade? Exactly. That's nope. the trick. Yes, yeah, so we're going to have you right. try them first. So let's uh, let's start. I'll have you guys start with the uh, the glassware, the shorter glass to start with. Ooh, I can't so like I can't like these glasses. Yep, they're they're right these, from my I, apartment. Well, I don't know because I <laughs> these are mine. Yeah, I hear them. Nice real glass. Exactly. <laughs> I'm, Ooh, I'm this glad has a you smell to it. A, it smells nice. I hope you're coffee fans. I know I am. This is partially why it's my favorite drink. Oh, wow. That tastes really good. Does it? Does I'm, it? All right. yeah. I'm not a coffee so. fan, but it is good for what it's supposed to I be. I don't drink coffee, right. but that is good. All right. All right. Now, take a take a drink of the second okay. glass. Now, this might be unfair, though, because our taste buds have all from the first one. Like, so. Oh, yeah. You, you might, might see if you taste a difference. I'm curious to see. The first one had a lot of coffee flavor, a lot of, you know, delightfulness, perhaps. Devin was a big fan of it. What's your thoughts on the second one, Devin? Let's give it, let's get it right from the source. I mean, not bad though, but I'll be honest, I like this better. All right, all right. Jackie, what do you notice the difference wise between the first and the second? Here? Yes, well, this one again is a lot smoother. Mm. This one, mm. it doesn't taste terrible. It doesn't taste terrible. It, doesn't, does it, it does not taste bad, but I will say it. This one tastes stronger too. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. Yeah, see, uh, obviously, this is the one, the shorter glass and the one that everyone seems to like is the one that I made previously. Yeah. Hey, so there you go, my yeah. guys, sort of homemade. I, I'm, I'm glad you, you voted for me and uh, yes. the homemade. Uh, but it was really interesting. This kind of was inspired because we ran the, you know, most important, the mm -hmm. biggest, most popular cocktail earlier in the month. Yeah. And, uh, and I we, remember I saw yeah. these little things at Walmart of these, like, whole, or, like, pre-made cocktail yeah. kits. I remember originally, I was like, we should try these on the show and see what one's better, but then we, we talked call, about... What we call Booze Watch 12, <laughs> booze watch 12. <laughs> Yes, but then you mentioned espresso martinis. I was like, mm -hmm. okay, and you, they're your favorite drink. They are you, my favorite you, drink, you so love if I them. couldn't make a good one, I'd be a little disappointed. Yes, so these ones from Walmart, <laughs> they're pre-made kits. I think they were just with the holiday section, mm -hmm. but... They looked really cute. The they looked really cute. Looked they were great. adorable. I mean, I'll stress, not bad, but your homemade is a yes. lot better. Well, this is... Just brown sugar, sugar, coffee beans, and coffee powder with three cups of vodka. Mm. That is, I don't know how, how to react <laughs> to that. That's too much vodka. That's you don't need that. You need, you need to enjoy yourself and just yes. enjoy the what's, espresso. What's your ingredients? Uh, well, first off, listed. fresh pressed espresso right from the news station. Ooh. So that, you know, you're off to a great start that way. You know, you do three double shot espressos mixed in with, uh, for three drinks, it's a combined, you know, uh, what is it, two ounces or mm -hmm. four, I think four ounces total of vodka then two ounces of simple syrup, and then two ounces of uh, coffee liqueur. No wonder so it then you mix so that. Exactly. So it's very sweet. It's got a lot of coffee in it, so yeah. it does perk you up a bit, and it's great for... I already uh, feel perked up. I just had a little the sip. Thing I, is, I might not even finish this. This is actually really good. You're welcome The to thing is, I'm not a coffee girl, but I am a vodka girl. Absolutely. So. <laughs> <laughs> well, but anyone who's interested in trying these, I know they have them at the Craftsman up mm -hmm. in Eagle River, so feel free to go out and you know try a, a espresso martini and see what <laughs> see what all the buzz yeah, is about. To get you to this post-holiday Monday. Exactly. Right. Certainly. But, yeah, so coming up, we have What's Trending.